what be it that you are showering how many times in a day but between your butts there is a certain smell that comes out of that place right am i right <laughs> but if you want to get rid of that calm certain smell that comes out from your butt hole okay i'm talking about your butt hole remember this is the place that you 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 are using for your long hi guys welcome back to this amazing 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 channel with you today it's me your girl the team of cities okay <laughs> so guys what we will be doing today is a little bit different so today we want to create a Talk corner we will be having these sessions once in a while yeah like uh, let's say like today I want to teach you how to smell nice some things about hygiene some basic basic things about hygiene and I am sure that one or two things you might not know that I might give you and you you come to terms with it okay like if you want to know some few things Make sure that you stay tuned to this channel until the end because I want to tell you how to use clothes after your periods to cleanse your vivi. So guys, let us start this show, okay? Few things down so that I don't forget and I go like in a sequence in order, okay? So starting from the basic, basic one is young girl. Or uh, old lady or whatever, you have to take a shower twice a day. Okay? Like when you wake up or when you want to go somewhere, you have to take a shower twice. That is at least if you have time, if you don't go to work or if you don't, um, you're just in the house. If you want, if it is uh, very hot like summertime, you can take a shower twice. But make sure that you take a shower at least twice a day one in the morning to take you throughout the day and then the next one in the evening to take you throughout the night okay so guys uh after that we go to our point number two which is while taking that shower okay okay we've said that you have to take your shower twice a day when you are taking that shower, you have to make sure that you wash your VV very well. Okay? Do you know what a VV is? Your VV is your... Huh? It's your girl down here. Yes? So, when taking a shower, yeah? Uh, those people who use the, the shower, like, right from, from the shower, yeah? you have to take your shower, like, take it... So, Take it out. If your shower can um, can be portable, like you can remove it, remove your shower and then go down. You use your hands to clean that area very well. You have to make sure that you squat. If you're not squatting while washing your VV or if you're not going down while washing your VV, then you are not washing it well. I'm not saying that you douche or you do wash. Don't put any water inside, inside. No, just the outer parts where your lips are and... Uh, the back side of your vagina, uh, of your baby, yes. <laughs> the back side, yeah. The the cajol back there. You have to make sure that you wash it really well, okay. And um, what else did I want to say? Yeah, if you're those people who are using the shower that cannot be removed from the stand, make sure that you have a certain container. You are a little container, okay? You fetch your water and then when you go down, you use that container like to, to what? To splash water, to put water, okay? And if you are using your basins, the one that you go down and do like this, make sure that you go down and you don't splash water so hard because we don't want to infect your VV, okay? So you go down and you make sure that you wash it very well. If you don't go down when washing your VV, my girl, you're not doing it right, okay? Okay, guys, that is our point number two. And you've come out of the shower, right? You want to make sure that you dry yourself very well, okay? With your towel and then make sure that you you clean your towel as regular as possible because we don't want to give you infections, okay? So when you are drying yourself, you have to make sure that you you have a separate towel if you want to. 
you have a separate towel that you dry uh, your view very well and also back there you see between your butts <laughs> between your butts because you see that has space there where your butt uh, meets like uh, you see there is no air it is not an open place so you have to make sure that you pass your towel down there very well okay from front to from front to back okay not back to front from front to back okay i wish i could do an experiment but we know and then <laughs> after after you're done with that mm, this is a minute also when you're drying yourself you want to make sure that you dry in between your toes okay like um after you done you're done with showering and all of that uh your toes can remain wet and then it can cause those how are they called there's some smell and some itchiness that can form in between your toes so if you want to prevent that you want to make sure that between your toes are clean as possible like dry all the time okay yeah so after that i just want to make sure that i take whatever i have said and then after you're done with uh, cleaning your toes you've done your bb you've done your toes with uh, sorry guys you've done your your toes okay so you want to make sure that you have a you can use your face towel yeah because all of us have face towels if you don't have a face towel please this is the right time to get your face towel okay so you can use your face towel to dry your ears dry in your ears like um not using earbuds uh, per se but just outside your ear the outer side and uh, just the outer side not in the outer side and then the back of your ear okay and if you have nails like these ones and uh, you can't reach here you can't reach this part you take a you either take a pencil or you take a something that is a little bit uh, pointed and then you take your face towel and wrap uh, on top of it and then you just dry the outer parts you dry everything everything um i had to learn that lesson they had way. let me just tell you there is a time i went to visit my cousin and then my cousin noticed that there were some black black spots around here because you know if you are cleaning your ears with the earbud you might tend to forget that um, this place also exists so even if you are like if you're cleaning your ears with your earbud you have to make sure that you also have a, a clean one that you you clean with the outside here okay and also the back of your your ear like if you don't clean the back of your ear it might smell and you don't want that okay i'm here to teach you how to smell nice all right so guys after you're done cleaning your ears you're done with the drying let's say you're done with the drying yourself right so you want to invest in uh, you want to invest in uh, moisturizing your skin whether you're using a jelly whether you're using a body lotion whether you're using what else do people use body oil yeah make sure that you moisturize your body very well okay you want to make sure like uh, let's say some people always say that if if i shower at night and then there is no need of moisturizing my body my friend you are wrong you have to moisturize your body after showering every time you moisturize your body that's the that's the the word the essence of showering yeah like some people say leave your body like to breathe okay so if you are showering if you're showering like twice a day you shower in the morning and then you moisturize your body and then in the evening you will also shower and then you will open up those pores that were blocked with your oil and whatever okay and also another point that i was forgetting i did not even write it down but you want to use um exfoliating gloves okay let me just show you uh the gloves if you don't have these gloves by this time please the prices have gone down yeah you can run to the market and get those gloves the exfoliating gloves looks like this if you don't have these by now please 
run to the market and get these for yourselves okay in uganda they're about four thousand and in kenya i don't know they might be 100 or 150 run to the market and get these ones and then if you feel that these ones are so rough for your skin you can use your normal bathing towel like um you can use these ones like thrice a week but make sure that you use these ones okay run to the market a long time ago people used to use the guneas and the whatever whatever but nowadays they've improved improvised to these ones and i tell you after showering with these things your skin will be feeling like you'll be feeling air passing through your skin okay so guys moving on moving on after you we were talking about moisturizing yeah you make sure that you moisturize your body you moisturize your body and you are um, feeling smooth and all of that let's go to your underarms okay your armpits okay so guys you want to make sure that you have a roll on for your underarms okay whatever the case that you are doing if you if you go to the supermarkets you have a variety of loans ranging from prices okay it can go as low as 100 bob or 70 bob in kenya and then in, in uganda it can range as low as 4000 right so guys let me just show you what a roll-on looks like get me these ones roll-on you can either get you can either get this this one is a nivea or the rexona we have rexona here this one tends this one tends to be much less expensive it is less expensive than this one so if you're a hustler like me you can buy this one but if you can afford this one and then if you want to buy this one buy a pink one it will help like with the dark underarms okay so you use a pink one uh, to lighten your underarm if in case you're suffering from a dark underarm okay ladies 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 make sure that you use a roll on under your arms okay and if it is uh, too much more than a roll on you want to make sure that you use them these things i will search and then i'll tell you about that uh, after this video this one is just basic things and then after this i'll go and uh, do research and then come and experiment whatever i have to you guys okay so you are done with um you are done with the uh, showering you are done with the uh, moisturizing your body you are done with the roll okay so the next thing that you want to get a secret of not smelling like let me tell you be it that you're using what be it that you are showering how many times in a day but between your butts there is a certain smell that ca comes out of that place right am i right <laughs> but if you want to get rid of that ca certain smell that comes out from your butthole okay i'm talking about your butthole remember this is the place that you 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 are using for your long calls okay so after showering you have moisturized your body you have uh, Use your lungs under your arms you're smelling nice okay so we have to attend to that place okay you either use a coconut oil if you know a coconut oil you either use a coconut oil or vaseline vaseline that doesn't smell like pure vaseline that one that does not have um, smell pure pure vaseline like i have one here In my in my wardrobe, you must find a Vaseline in that car wardrobe of mine. I have Vaseline every day. It's either Vaseline or coconut oil. I use I use them for my butthole. Like after you're done with all of that, you take um, a small portion of Vaseline and then you rub it in between your your what your fingers and then you you smear it uh, on your butthole and then. On the both sides of your both sides of your both sides of your butt okay the place that they meet the skin how they meet you see like this this place and this place I wish I could experiment but in between your butt going up that place you see okay after you are done with the 
and I tell you like, uh, let me tell you, if you are traveling, it is very, very like um, important. If you are traveling, like if you are going to your boy boyfriend's place, okay, we don't want to reach at your boyfriend's place and then you need it down there, okay? So you use Vaseline or coconut oil for that place. Use it every day and I promise you, no smell will be coming from down there, okay? Let us move to the next one, okay? The next one is, now in, because we are using the Kavaseline and the coconut oil for our butt hole down there, you want to shave well, okay? Are you shaving well? Huh? Okay. You want to make sure that you shave well and you shave as a regular as possible. We don't have, we don't want any bush down there. Okay, as much as uh, biologists say, they only say that uh, the hairs have a very important role down there. We agree, but trim them. Me, I like mine like uh, bald. <laughs> like bald. I shave like at least after every two weeks, I shave, right? And um, if you want to know how to shave well, if you don't want those. Uh, those cut things after shaving. This one is for people who doesn't go for waxing. If you're using a shaving stick, okay? So, if you're shaving, if your hair's down there, if your hair is going like down like this, you want to make sure that you shave going down. Yeah? You first make sure that you see where your hairs are lying, the direction that your hair is taking. If you are, if the direction is downwards, you want to make sure that you shave going downwards, okay? You don't want to shave coming up and your hair is going down. If your hairs is, are going, are coming in the middle, you want to shave like this and like this, okay? That is to make sure that you don't have those after, after shave what? pimples down there okay and then after shaving you you tend to be like you feel like itchy itchy down there if you don't want that to happen to you you have to take a use a body oil any oil like me i use this car this car olive oil yeah any oil that is uh, liquid like this this is olive oil pure olive oil i use olive oil Every time after I shave, like for three days, I use this olive oil, like I smear it there and you will not have any itchiness, like after shave itchiness, you won't have it, okay? Did you know about that? <laughs> okay guys, that is all about shaving and um, preventing the shaving, the shaving pimples, the shaving bumps, okay? And... Um, Another one that I want to say is, dear ladies, make sure that you have scrub in your toiletries, okay? If you have scrub, like let's say you want to scrub your face like uh, twice a week or once a week, you don't want to overdo it. And if you, if you want to take it a notch higher, you can also scrub your body. We have um, the cheapest in the market. Let me get the scrub cheapest in the market they look like they are uh, they are in this form not necessarily this one but me i use this one it's almost over but they are smaller there are always some smaller ones smaller than this one and they are about seven thousand and in kenya you can find them at 150 yeah so you have to have a scrub in your toiletries. You don't have to buy that a big one because it is only you or with your sisters or with your brother. Yeah, brothers can also scrub. <laughs> so you want to have a scrub just to, you know, get um, those kind of black words, black heads. And uh, you want to exfoliate your, your skin too, okay? You have to scrub your body, okay? We are done with that and then after you let's say in your toiletries you have to have uh, either a body splash or a perfume perfumes you don't have to buy the big ones the bushy and the what 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 you can go to a perfume shop and they have them into small 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 containers like i have one here let me get this kind of perfume 
they come in this uh, these car sizes you can get as low as 50 bob 50 bob is like uh, 50 bob is like this side it is like 5000 yes you can get as low as 5000 this is a little bit bigger but they are small small ones you have to make sure that you have these perfumes in your uh, whatever yes in your wardrobe you have to have these ones okay so that you just smell nice smell fresh and it will take you like a whole day let me tell you these perfumes there are those ones that they smell in the they sell in the supermarkets like the the body sprays but you spray and then after three hours you don't smell nice again like it is just gone but if you use these ones the small small ones let me tell you it will take you like a whole day even if you smell your cloth like tomorrow it will still be smelling like your it will be still smelling nice okay so you have a perfume in your toiletries as low as 5000 or as low as 100 or even 50 bob in kenya okay okay we are done with that and then let me tell you uh you want to brush your teeth twice a day are you brushing twice a day answer that question and then come back are you brushing twice a day in the morning if you're brushing that one is to get rid of bad breath okay to get rid of bad breath like during the day and then brushing at night like after after eating and you, you are done you want to go to bed you have to brush your teeth there are some people who brush like after every meal they brush that is very very recommendable but if you are in a place that you can't brush you are going to work brush in the morning and in the evening when you're going to sleep when you brush in the evening you are protecting your teeth like when you reach 40 is 45 you will still have your teeth okay so guys remember brushing in the morning is for your uh, fresh breath brushing in the evening is to protect your teeth okay and after brushing you want to use a uh, how do we call them mouthwash just uh, for long lasting breath okay La fresh breath use a mouthwash if you, if you don't have a um, if you see a mouthwash, your mouthwash is expensive. You can use a mixture of you can use a mixture of cloves. If you don't know what cloves are, let me just show you what cloves are. This one's this is clove. I don't know if you can see it, but they look like this. In Kiswahili, it is colorful. Cloves look like this. I will show you like closely but if you google about google is everything nowadays if you google clothes you will get to see them you can use clothes like you can take a one one seed or one piece just one piece like this and then you put it in your mouth and let it be there and then you will spit the the saliva after putting the cloth the saliva will be like more in your mouth and then you will spit then the saliva out and then the breath that will be in your mouth i'm telling you you will come back and then tell me in the comment section whatever clothes will be doing to your breath that is if you say that mouthwash is expensive to you use clothes like this one that i'm carrying it is like uh this is 1000 1000 it is like 30 bob in kenya so like 30 bob gets you clothes and then you can use your clothes for your fresh breath okay and you can also use like if if you have a problem with the, the breath like if it is too much if it is too much you take hot water you boil the cloves and then you put in you put in cloves you put in cinnamon you put in salt and then you boil it all together after boiling and then you sieve it after sieving that water that you have you use it to to is it gargling you gargle like you do in your mouth and then you spit it out like twice a day that will help you with the breath and any cavity that you might be having okay 
So we are done with the mouth. Your mouth must be smelling nice. Mm -hmm. And then, let me tell you, us as ladies, we go on our periods, like every month we go on our periods, right? And then when you are on your periods, you want to smell nice, okay? So like um, you've, you've woken up in the morning, you use uh, your shower, and then you, you do what? After showering, you, you change your pad, right? You want to make sure that after every eight hours, you change your pad. No matter how little your pills might be, like you see, it is little, so I want to use this one like for a whole day. Don't go with it for a whole day. If you're going to work, carry an extra pad in your bag so that after eight hours, after eight, like eight, after eight hours, you change your pad for the safety of your baby and then for just the, the fresh air coming in from there okay fresh smell not air okay coming from down there and then when you are uh, on a periods you want to make sure that you shower as a regular as you want okay remember we want to smell uh, to smell fresh like every time okay and then you are done with your periods right so the last the day, the last the last day that you um, that you received your period, like after the last day, uh, there might be some spots, right? Spotting. So spotting is when you receive that, those cars, small small blood. Okay, like if you wipe yourself and then you see, you wait until that one is over. Okay, and then you boil clothes. Remember these ones. I will be doing a tutorial on how to use these these things okay so you boil clothes after boiling clothes you put that water in a basin like you want to put it in a little bit uh, uh, not a big one that you can't sit on it's either like a small basin or a small basket or a small tin yeah you want to put the clothes in there while it is still hot okay and then you use the steam you sit on the tin or you sit on the basket or you sit on the small basin you want to sit on top of it just to cleanse everything out okay it will leave your vagina fresh until your next period okay did you know about that did you know so after this i will be i will i want to make a video on the usefulness of clothes okay as a lady in 2023 you want to have as much as clothes in your house as possible just have clothes okay i will i will i will bring to you a video i'll make a video about clothes and the uses because the ones that i've said that is not all about the clothes I want to bring to you more about clothes. I think it is the next one that I'll be doing. Either the next one. But make sure that you have clothes in your house. Make sure that you have clothes. So guys, if I have left anything out, if you feel that I have left anything that can help another lady somewhere, please feel free to add it in the comment section down below and uh, I'll show a series and I'll... if time allows me, I will make another video of whatever I see that is important and uh, if not, another person can also read a comment and see what can help her out there to smell nice, to smell fresh and to stay healthy, okay? Okay, but as for now guys, we come to the end of our video. We come to the end of this imperfect video, okay? If you feel like it is not perfect, well and good. This is our imperfect life, okay? So guys, we come to the end of the video. And guys, see you till our next video. Bye-bye.